The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The Badger Hockey Digest, presented by Charter Communications. Hi, welcome to the Badger Hockey Digest, brought to you by Charter. I'm Brian Posick with the Badgers head coach, Mike Eaves, inside Laban Arena in the press box, where we get a bird's eye view of this uh, beautiful facility. And uh, I know you're rarely up in a press box. Maybe you were at times during your career, but uh, it's always fun to get a glimpse from up top, isn't it? Well, this is where you see the game kind of unfold. Uh, when you're a, a student of the game or you have an idea how the game is played, to be up top is really fun to see it develop and flow and so being up in the press box does have its its good sides uh, those moments that you mentioned when i was up in the press <laughs> box due to injury or decision of a coach you actually can learn a lot from up here and even with our guys that don't dress we ask them to pay attention because you can see how our system play unfold you can see how the plays come together you can learn an awful lot up here so that when you do get on the ice you see the game from being played from up here in your brain and that makes you a better hockey player sure it certainly certainly has helped me as a broadcaster getting this bird's eye view this this past weekend, or Sunday night, Monday night, Wisconsin played host to Penn State, a fledgling Division I program that will be part of the Big Ten Hockey Conference next season with the Badgers, among others. Wisconsin played very well in the second and third period in the opener and beat Penn State 5 nothing. That was a solid effort on Sunday night, wasn't it? Well, it was a good effort. Uh, you know, the first period, we hadn't played in a week, so we were getting our feet underneath us and went out and really picked up the pace in the second and third. And, uh, uh, we fired 51 shots at him and scored five goals. It was a good effort. Yeah, and then in the finale <clears throat> Monday night, 44 shots on goal, but Penn State's goaltender Matthew Scoff kept him in it, and the Nittany, uh, Nittany Lions, that is, rallied for two goals in the third and then won in overtime to win it 3-2. That was a tough one to take. Well, it was, uh, you know, it was missed opportunities by us. Uh, you know, I, as as a coach, you can you can uh, kind of live with a loss like that, and the fact that we create a lot of scoring chances. And uh, the fact is they, they kept hanging around and we couldn't put them away. Um, even even shot, we, we had chances that we even didn't get pucks on net because we overpassed the puck. So it was a little bit that our offense didn't come through like it did on Friday night to put them away. And uh, again, on, on, on Monday night, the second game, we didn't give up very much. The, their power play goal that tied the game was kind of a broken play. Um, I, don't th I think in the three or four power plays they have, that was the only scoring chance they had and it was a broken play. Uh, their first goal uh, hit Eddie Woodcow's glove and went in the net. So it's one of those games, you know, for their program, what a way to end the season for them, you know, and, 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 and good for them. I've been in those shoes before where mm -hmm. you're trying to get something going and uh, was able to I, I tell Guy Godowski, good for you guys. Now you've got something to build on for the next year. But for us, it just was a matter. We, we had opportunities that we missed. We didn't put the puck away, and as a result, we found, us, uh, we found ourselves looking up at a 3-2 loss. Yeah. Mike Eves and I are both fathers, and we teach our children to be selfless, right? right? But at times, you want hockey players to be selfish, don't you? Well, it's interesting. There was just an article yesterday in the Dallas uh, paper about mm -hmm. uh, one of their stars, Louis Erickson. And his head coach, the, the article was called, Please Be Selfish. Mm -hmm. And I think it's one of the things that uh, nobody wants to be called selfish. And uh, I think what happens in the game of hockey is that we overpass because we don't that, want that label. But you want a shooter's mentality. And I think some of our guys uh, have got to come to grips with that as players, that it's okay to shoot the puck. As a matter of fact, I thought uh, in the second period last night, uh, Mark Zangale alone had about five shots in the second period. And he took that to heart in that and he had some excellent scoring opportunities and he finally did score one on a, on a 2 on 0 but you know it, it's one of those mentalities that's hard for young athletes especially in the sport of hockey to have that shooter's first mentality because if you miss you feel like you failed and if you assist well then you're being <laughs> selfless so it's an interesting psyche that goes on in offense when you have those type of things to deal with. Yeah, and after the loss on Monday night, the Badgers have a day off. We film this every Tuesday morning, by the way, so Wisconsin has the day off Tuesday, gets back to work Wednesday, then flies to Omaha Thursday mm -hmm. for a weekend series. Four games in seven days, but the players like it, the coaches like it. As a broadcaster, I like it too. Play the games, especially at this time yeah, of year. Yeah, this time of year, practice gets old, and so we got a day off, we got a practice. Uh, we'll have a good hard practice tomorrow. we we'll have a, a light skate on Thursday up at UNO and get ready to go. Uh, you know, right now we have to have the mentality of a defensive back in football. 
You have to have a short-term memory. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with the way the game ended up, we got to get back in the saddle. And I'm glad we don't have a week to practice because we got one practice, get back in the saddle again and play. All right, the Badgers at Nebraska, Omaha, Friday night and Saturday night. More about that series coming up after this from Charter. Who needs this modern world? I can live just fine out here without the road rage and boy bands. Of course, I might miss my Charter HD with football on ESPN and Walking Dead on AMC. Just ESPN, AMC, Shark Week on Discovery HD, and Comedy Central HD. But that's it. Except for HBO HD. Charter now has over 100 HD channels and more brilliant HD shows on demand than ever. Get Charter HD for only $29.99 a month when you bundle. Back with Badgers head coach Mike Eves. Mike, before we talk about Nebraska Omaha, you and I were discussing Penn State hockey. You coached in the state of Philadelphia for almost 10 years with the Philadelphia Flyers, Pittsburgh Penguins, and the Hershey Bears of the American Hockey League. That's a hockey rich state that goes back a long ways. And the folks in State College and the surrounding area are going to enjoy college hockey, aren't they? I think so. I was amazed going into Pittsburgh when we did uh, how long pro hockey had been in Pittsburgh. And mm -hmm. then with the advent of Mary Lemieux. It took it to a whole nother level. So uh, Penn State is going to have a strong following in, in, in that state, and uh, I think people are really going to enjoy the game. All right. Wisconsin resumes WCHA play this weekend at Nebraska-Omaha, currently tied for sixth with Denver, but right now just uh, two points behind fifth place Minnesota State, three behind UNO and North Dakota, only four points behind fourth place Minnesota. Either way, you want to finish in the top six, and yeah. here's a great opportunity for you. Well, we're playing teams our last two series, UNO this weekend and then St. Cloud the following weekend. We're playing teams that are above us, and uh, uh, we need to get some points. And going on the road, uh, UNO is a great building. We were there a couple of years ago, right. and they, they did a big promotion, and it was sold out. There's 15,000 people, and it was a crazy atmosphere. Uh, and it was a really good game, good college game, up and down, very intense. And uh, I, I think we're going to have that same kind of weekend this weekend as we go up there. Points are at a premium this time of year. UNO wants them, we want them, and we want to be playing well as we're going down the stretch. Yeah, they play at the Century Link Center. It seats about 15,000 fans. UNO has 18 wins so far this season. They, like Wisconsin, also battling to get into the NCAA tournament. They've got a young man by the name of Ryan Walters who leads the WCHA in scoring, and they've got some big dudes in the back end, don't they? Yeah, they do. They, uh, and that's pretty typical for, for UNO. Uh, and Dean Blaze, well, yeah. Dean Blaze in particular because that was his philosophy in, in North Dakota. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a good test. Um, uh, they get up and down the ice. they got forwards that like to fly and get out of the zone and stretch out a little bit. Uh, so, again, it'll be great college hockey this weekend and uh, UNO. Yep, and then when Wisconsin comes home for the final series of the regular season, it's at the Dane County Coliseum, not part of the season ticket package. You have to get your tickets through Ticketmaster.com or at the Coliseum box office. But I'm looking forward to going back to, to the Coliseum, seeing the banners hang and, yeah. and having fans come out and enjoy Badger hockey, maybe for the last time in that building. Well, it'll be a uh, walk down memory lane. Yeah. I know that uh, people have been pretty excited about the banners and getting them going and ideas and thoughts and uh, I know they've made some banners already mm -hmm. that we've been privy to see. It looks pretty good. You're going to have the beer garden going. I think for, for the young fan that uh, hasn't seen a, a big time game in the Coliseum to go back in time uh, and see that, uh, for those that don't remember, I think it was 8,600 people on Friday and different 8,600 <laughs> people on Saturday. So it, it was a really neat atmosphere. So I think we're going to have that opportunity to see what it was like for those that haven't seen it. Yeah, and we'll talk more about the St. Cloud State Series next week on the Badger Hockey Digest. This weekend again at Nebraska Omaha. Friday night's game starts at 6.30. It's on the NBC Sports Network. You can listen on the Badger Sports Network and badgersportsnetwork.com at 6. Face-off Saturday night is at 7 o'clock. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest brought to you by Charter.